Good day guys, in this video I just want to share with you my opinion with buy now pay later stocks listed in SX. This includes some of the merger and acquisition deal that has been proposed and is happening. We're going to talk about Afterpay, Zippay, Hum Group and it's interesting because it shows that human behavior doesn't change and it rhymes that people are get too optimistic with the stock or a certain type of asset and there are people that pump it such as some of these uh, YouTube videos saying zip own it now and pay later don't miss it zip the next app to pay short term ten dollars long term thirty dollars and guess what the zip pay market cap is 2.3 billion right now it has dropped by 70 percent since February 2021 so in a year Anyone invest in Afterpay and Zip would have lost money, about negative 30 to 70%. That is huge loss. I don't mind people get corrections in the short term, but if they get into this buy now pay later stock without understanding the business, that is dangerous. I think you might as well put the money on Brisbane Broncos, see if you win and, and the odds is pretty good. I think it's, it has bigger odds of winning and if you lose, you still have fun losing it. Let's start with Afterpay. Afterpay is now trading with the ticket code SQ2, correct me if I'm wrong, and pretty much Afterpay shareholders get a substitute block incorporated or the new name of Square stock now. But the problem is if you purchase Afterpay thinking that it will skyrocketing, it will continue to do well, even during COVID pandemic, the stock just keeps skyrocketing. And that's why a lot of people get into this Afterpay. And now they own Block Incorporated, which has a market capitalization of about 65 billion US dollars. It has a recent earnings about 200 to 300 million which makes a PE about 150. And compare that with a similar market capitalization company like Fortescue Metal Group with similar Australian uh, $65 billion valuation at $20, $21 per share, but FMG give $10 billion profit as opposed to $200 million profit. I'm not a, an expert, but after learning more about how they make their money, what is the business model of ZipPay and Afterpay, is that they're rewarding people who borrow that are paying their loan on time. They don't pay any fee, they don't pay any late payment fee, and they are discouraging and charging people who pay late, who do the late payment fee and charge monthly, monthly fee if they didn't make the payment on time. And those type of people are unfortunately people who are not in a really great financial situation. So zip pay and after pay make money out of people who are not in a great financial shape. And the competition is fierce. And I, I'm seeing people say, oh, they can't get it from after pay. They have a zip pay account and then they have a latitude account. They have a Ham group account and they have multiple accounts. And on top of that, they also have credit card debt that they have to pay. And it's it's sad what is happening. Another similar acquisition deal proposed is with the Ham Group, it used to be called Flexi Group. They used to have their glory days when they reached a 10-year high at $4.30 a share around end of 2013. And since then, anyone that invests in Ham Group since 2013 would have lost about negative 80%. They are the only BNPL group that pays dividend, but on financial year 2021, they did not pay any dividend. They raised capital and in consequence, your stock would have been diluted in value. And as a result, their stock is punished from 2013 of $4.30 down to uh, 75 cents at the end of 2021. And then there is an acquisition deal that was rumored it was BOQ and then BOQ said that, oh, it's not them, it's not us. And it's actually Latitude Financial Services, another BNPL. And they are valuing Hum Group, buy now, pay later operation is about 300 million. And that is a total bargain. Because if you look at the total asset of Latitude is about 3.2 billion with a net asset of 760 million, net asset of 760, and you want to buy this operation for 300 million. So it's like paying 50 cents for $1. And the revenue for the operation itself is like $400 million. So it is a huge bargain. And the acquisition is not that exciting because you end up owning a Latitude shares. And if the Latitude shares is already overvalued, overpriced, what more growth do you want? And if you look at Latitude balance sheet, this financial service company is highly leveraged. And be careful for any 
financial institution that is trying to do better because they can get into a lot of trouble so in summary human behavior doesn't change in this year 2022 there will be people who will come to you like a salesperson trying to sell you something promising above average return be careful on those type of people i'm not saying buy now pay later stocks are bad i'm just sharing my opinion remember and i can be wrong too and let me know what's your opinion about this